The Tax Data Lab is a secure, state-of-the-art facility located at the National Treasury. South Africa is the first African country to make its tax data available to academics and policymakers for research purposes through the SA Tide program. So this is the National Treasury Secure Data Facility and this is where we house all the tax data as well as a few other data sets. We've currently got procurement data as well. There's eight terminals and they're all connected to a server. So basically researchers come in and prior to coming in, they've signed a secrecy agreement as well as a non-disclosure agreement. We put all these controls in place to maintain the integrity of the data. This is the server which we ultimately control all the data analysis through and uh, the server is not connected to the internet. So essentially this, this is an island. There is no other means to access it but through our profiles and the profiles we set up for researchers. We get data sets from SARS in raw form and our job is then to clean the data and transform it so it can be used by researchers. The great thing about this data is that it's longitudinal, which means that you can track the same individual across time, which really allows us to look at some of the employment dynamics. And it's provided invaluable insights. I think how this particular data set is putting a complete and a supplementary and almost a 360 view is that we provide anonymized data across all tax products that SARS administers. So you've got a full data set of the individuals that are registered with SARS and then we collect information on corporates, we collect information on vet vendors, we collect information on employers, we collect information on traders. So you almost have like a 360 view of what's happening in the economy and it's all coming from one institution. Then if you take this data and you overlay it with, let's say, somebody in the trade environment, you are able to pull out the necessary data points that supplements and complements what the trade agenda is for South Africa. When you are working without the facility of these tax administrative data, you often have to work at a much higher level of generality. Sure, we know that some enterprises are shifting profits. Some companies might be adjusting their behavior uh, when taxes are changing. But there is a great difference between being able to say exactly which categories of enterprising are doing what. So for example, it allowed us to look at uh, or to analyze the economy at the level of the firm rather than at the level of the sector. And that gives us much more nuanced and detailed insights. It also provides us a much greater sense of the formal workforce which gives us insight into the labor market that we did not have before. And then, of course, there's quite a lot of detail available in the tax administrative data and linking different data sets allows one to approach policy questions from new angles and new perspectives.